sense to grow. Tune in to Kids Radio and start your hands to clapping or tap your little toe. Tune in to Kids Radio and listen, we're ready to go. Welcome to the KIDS Kids Radio Show. I'm Miss Carolyn, and do I have a surprise for you today. I was out walking in the countryside earlier this morning, and I stopped by a bunch of clover to look at a beautiful rainbow that had formed in the sky. I've always wondered about rainbows, but what was even more amazing than the rainbow was what I caught trying to tie my shoelaces together while I was standing there. When I looked down, I saw a very tiny little man working to tie my shoelaces together as a trick. So I leaned over quick as a wink and grabbed him, and I've got him right here with me in a shoebox. I think I've managed to capture a real live leprechaun. Oh, that isn't true. I'm a cobbler's elf and I was trying to repair your shoes for you while you were standing there. Oh, no, you weren't. You were trying to play a trick on me by tying my shoelaces together so I would trip and fall. But I caught you and you're not getting loose until you grant me a wish. All right, all right. It's true I'm one of the little people. Darby O'Gill is my name. Now, what wish is it that you would be wanting? Hmm, I haven't given it much thought yet. Well, help me out to the shoebox and let me have a better look at you. Okay, I'll set you here on this table and then... Hey, you wee little weasel, where do you think you're going? Oh, I was just checking the door here and the fine one it is too. It's also locked, so don't get any ideas about leaving until I get my wish. Then get on with it, girl. We leprechauns have things to do. Like playing tricks on people while they wonder about rainbows? Hey, that's it. My wish is that I want the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Oh, and I'd be pleased and delighted to show you the way. But you'll have to be willing to go through the colors of the rainbow to get to the gold. Then take me through them. You're a brave lass, aren't you? Hold on to me coattails and repeat. Roy G. Biv, over and over. Roy G. Biv? What's that? Oh, silly girl. That name spells out the order of the colors in the rainbow. R is for red, O for orange, Y for yellow, G for green, B for blue, I for indigo, and V for violet. Oh, I see. Here, let me hold on to your little green coattails with my thumb and forefinger. Oh, don't pinch! Roy G. Biv, Roy G. Biv, Roy G. Biv. We'll continue with more Kids Radio Show in a moment. You can stop with the chanting, lass. We're here. Open your eyes. Oh, everything is a bright red. Where are we? Why we're in the first color of the rainbow, red. Red is the first color on the outside of the bow. It's the color of beginnings. What's that music I hear? And why is it so hot in here? Oh, red is a spicy hot color and things are always pretty excited in the color red. We better keep moving. Hey, look! My feet just started dancing by themselves and I can't stop them! That happens in this color a lot. We better dance on into the colors up ahead. We'll be doing a jig here for a long time. First you take the great big pot, plop that holds an awful lot. Put it on a great big stove and heat it till it's nice and hot. When you've done what I have said, you'll end up with the color red. Yes, of course, that's what I said. I have a recipe for red. First you need the desert sun, a crash of cymbals more than one. Blast of trumpets for your ear, tiny dash of sudden fear. Throw in seven signs for stopping, a rusty hatchet, tired of chopping, and a bad mosquito bite. Fourteen people in a fight. Closer, don't you see? Red's the color it will be. It's not quite done of that, I'm sure. Think it needs a little more. A cup of sunny sunburn noses. Three old worn out fire hoses. Add the fire engine to mean and nasty pirate crew. Dash of fireworks from the sky. A hot and spicy pepper pie. Tiger in an iron cage. Just a touch of purple rage. Closer, don't you see? Red's the color it will be. It's not quite done of that, I'm sure. Think it needs a little more. A ladle full of broken bones, several large and ragged stones, a last and lonely train caboose, dragon prowling on the loose, stirring lots of summer heat, an August sidewalk for your feet, one explosion not too big, an angry cat without a wig. There, it's almost right. Let it boil through the night. 
It isn't stew you'll have instead. Inside you'll find a color red. Of the red, and now we're into orange. Miss Carrie, my lass, slow down. You're walking so fast. This wee person can barely keep up with you. I feel so good, so full of energy. I just can't slow down. I have to move. I feel like running and running and oh, running. Oh, what's the effect of the color orange, lass? Orange is the color of radiant energy, of health, vitality, and such. That must be why eating an orange always makes me feel so good. Oh, indeed, lassie. Orange is the color between red and yellow. Red is where we began, so it's the base beginning of things like red clay. Then orange comes next, and it brings energy and puts a spark of life into things. I could stay here a long time. I feel so good. Just keep running towards that berry up ahead. Do you see it, lass? It's yellow. Let's go through it. Oh, this is nice here in yellow. Garby, what is it that makes a rainbow anyway? So now you're beginning to think about it, are you? Yellow does that to people. It's the color of the brain, of the mind of thought. But I don't know what makes the rainbow. You'll have to ask the mellow yellow coot. That's him standing over there. Where? All I see is a giant banana. That's not a banana, lass. It's what the coot looks like. Coot? 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 My, but you are a strange looking creature. How do you stand up? Do you make any noises? Do you change into different shapes? Do you have a skin that feels? He's a curious old coot, isn't he? It's his curiosity, lass. He's in the world of yellow all the time, so he thinks all the time and seeks answers. Well, Mr. Coot, what is a rainbow? Oh, oh my, oh my, my, my. A rainbow is just sunlight striking tiny little raindrops in the sky. The drops separate the beams of light into separate bands of color. Ordinary light is actually a blend of all the colors of the rainbow. So now you have your answer, lass. Let's move on to the green. All this thinking is making my tiny little leprechaun head hurt. Oh, wait a minute, Garby. I want to ask another question of the coot. Uh, Mr. Coot, how come we only see one half of the rainbow? Doesn't it make a full circle? Coot? Could why well, um that uh, because I uh, because uh I think uh, now I, you've done I, it, girl. Uh, you've gone and asked the coot a question uh, he doesn't know how to answer. Uh, Quick, run for the color uh, green up ahead there. Why? What's uh, happening? The coot is having a curiosity attack. Run for oh, it. No. Get to the color uh, green. No. Uh, because I uh. Curiosity killed the coot. That very mellow yellow coot. Now a secret was a thing that the coot just could not stand. He simply absolutely had to know. He was crafty, he was sly, he was sneaky and he'd try everything that he could try and so. When someone had a secret that coot would simply hide, high or low but always very near. Someplace inconspicuous where you would not suspect, but someplace where he knew that he would hear. Curiosity killed the coot, that very mellow yellow coot. Curiosity killed the coot, that very mellow yellow coot. And then he would wait. For hours he would wait Patiently until somebody told 
Then he'd jump and shout The secret it was out His curiosity was uncontrolled One day he hid inside a banana that he spied To listen to the monkeys tell their secret But the secret that he heard was his last and only word We love bananas was the monkey's secret secret Curiosity killed the coot That very mellow yellow coot Curiosity killed the coot That very mellow yellow Very dead coot This green is nice. I feel relaxed and calm. I can almost smell the pureness of green. Oh, but let's keep moving. There is a particular guy who hangs around here in this color lo Oh no, it's too late. He's seen us. Here he comes. Ah, welcome to my beautiful color. I know you will want to stay and relax and enjoy this place forever. Thank you. It does feel nice here, so relaxing and cool. Cool and mellow and pleasant and beautiful, yes. Don't you think so too, my little tattoo? That does it. My name is Garibio O'Dale and it's not tattoo. <laughs> well, my little wee willy, you had better stop turning red. You will ruin the cool green of this place. Oh, is that so? Well, I'll have you know, old great large cool one, that I hate green. Ho, 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 that is very funny. You play a little joke on me, eh? Everyone knows that leprechauns love green. You are even wearing a green coat. Green is the color of coolness, of youth, of harmony. And it's also the color of slime, spinach, sickening green apples and lunch meats that you leave in the sun. Oh man, you are beginning to make me lose my cool. Green's the color of lizards, snakes and squash bugs, and green beans with mildew and mold. Oh man, stop it. Now I don't feel so cool anymore. Aye, and green is the color that your face is turning now. Garby, stop it. You don't really hate green, do you? Indeed I do. Now hold on. Green is also the color of grass and trees. You don't hate those things, do you? Well, maybe not. And a shamrock is green. Oh, I love to sit in green clover, don't you? Okay, lass. You made your point. Oh, this is a very nice lady. You do understand green. Would you kindly show us the way to blue? Gladly. And you may even bring tattoo along. Hey, there he goes again. I hate green. I hate everything that's green. I hate green. I hate it. I hate green. I hate green. I hate everything that's green. Never liked a single thing that's green. Oh, how I hate green. Green's a lizard down your back. Green's a snake in your lunch sack. Green's a bug you squashed quite flat. Oh, how I hate green. I hate green, I hate green. I hate everything that's green. Never liked a single thing that's green. Green is spinach on your plate. You gotta eat it, that's your fate. Oh, how I hate green, but 
way to shake back up a bit grass is green and here i sit looking up at leaves so green i guess i don't eat everything We'll return to Kids Radio right after this. Well, blue is a nice color. It reminds me of the clear sky. Yes, blue is a spiritual color, so peaceful. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Did you come here to soak up a little more blue like me? <laughs> what are you? You look like a, like a giant... Like a giant blueberry! <laughs> right you are! I'm the giant blueberry and I just kind of rolled around having a merry old time, but my color was getting a little dim, so I thought I would come here and soak up a little blue light, know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. uh, but you're supposed to not be here. This color is peaceful and spiritual. Ooh, kind of like the sky, huh? Well, sure. Well, you know how when you look at the sky and it's kind of transparent, kind of like it's not really there? Well, yeah. But you know that it really is there the whole time because it has a blue color and depth and stuff like that, right? Right? Well, yes, but don't you see? Well, that's just like me. I'm just kind of unmistakably sort of here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good point. Now, wait a minute. And you know how spirits can make us realize that we're much larger than what appears to us in the mirror, you know? You yeah, know? uh-huh. And blue is a spiritual color, right? Yes, but... Well, look how big around I am. I'm just full of being bigger than I really am. How's that for why I'm here, huh? <laughs> what? Oh, oh yeah. You seem really glad that you're blue. I always thought having the blues meant you were sad. Oh, no, 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 sorry. No, 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 no. I always thought blue was glad, because I'm blue and I'm glad. Being a blueberry is kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll leave you here to contemplate and soak up more blue light. We're going on to the color indigo. Oh, indigo is the color of intuition you know, where you just kind of know things. You get through so fast it'll make your head spin. Good luck! I hope you get where you're going. It'll make me glad, glad, glad. Yes, it will. Glad, 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 glad. Did you ever hear a blue, blue Monday? Did a friend ever say that she was blue? When they're out and out, people sometimes pout. And say the sad and feeling kind of blue I wonder why I say that blue is sad Blue to me is a color that is glad, glad, glad Blue to me is a color that is glad Bright sunny days with skies so blue Let's take a picnic, just me and you Sit in the sun Sing a song or two A picnic is the color of blue Bright blue eyes of a baby brand new A brand new baby at your house The color of his eyes when he's brand, brand new Smiling smiles that brand new babies do I wonder why they say that blue is sad Blue to me is a color kitchen just for you muffins from the oven with berries so blue blueberry pies to light up your eyes pies are the color of blue if you decide it's time to go a fishing get up and get along and stop your wishing find a lake so blue fishing till you're through Fishing is the color of blue I wonder why they say that blue is sad Blue to me is a color that is glad, glad, glad Blue to me is a color that is glad I wonder why they say that blue is sad Blue to me is a color that is glad, glad, glad Blue to me is a color that is glad
Where am I? We must have gone right through the color indigo and into violet. Everything's dark purple. Hey, and violet is the last color of the spectrum, lass. The last color in the rainbow. It is a color of death, but of new beginnings. Yeah, it seems scary. Yeah, but not so much so. Do you see what is on the other side, edge of the violet over there? Why, it looks like the color red is over there. That's right. Violet is a blend of two opposites, red and blue. Does it make you nervous that you've come on this long journey with me from where we began in red, just to find that at the end there's another beginning with red again? Well, it is scary to not find what you expected at the end of a journey, but I think it's exciting too. It's like discovering new things all the time. I really don't have anything to fear about discovering. In fact, I'm beginning to feel comfortable about everything here. Good. Then I'll be off now. Goodbye. You'll be back to where we started from just by saying, Vib Gior. What does that mean? It's all the colors in backward order, the opposite of Roy G. Biv. Toodaloo! But what about my pot of gold that you promised me? Don't you feel richer now with all the knowledge you've discovered about the rainbow, and all you've learned about yourself and all the magic of beginnings and endings, only blending into new beginnings and endings, like red leading to violet that leads into more red and on and on? Oh, I see. That's the gold at the end of the rainbow. Ah, you do see. Now let me go about my leprechaun ways while you go about yours. Goodbye, lass. Goodbye, Garby O'Dill. I won't forget you and thank you for showing me the gold at the end of the rainbow. Now what was that name? Oh yeah, Vibgior, Vibgior, Vibgior. What color could a flower be? Here's a color that a flower could be We have all the colors of the rainbow What color could a tree be? Here's a color that a tree could be We have all the colors of the rainbow What color could a butterfly be? Here's a color butterflies could be We have all the colors of the rainbow What color could the sky be? Here's a color that the sky could be We have all the colors of the rainbow There's seen on everyone gift to bring They brighten up the world and make you want to sing We have all the colors of We'll return with the conclusion of Kids Radio Show right after this. Ideas to the Kids Radio Well, what do you know? We're right back at the beginning theme song for KIDS Kids Radio Show. So we're ending where we began, or are we beginning where we end? Maybe the coop knows the answer to that. Oh, anyway, bye!